Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at things you would relate to if you're a girl. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. If you think girls never go for nice guys, consider the possibility that A, they do, and B, you're not one. Or C, they're just not interested in you. Like, just because you're a nice guy doesn't mean you're compatible with someone just because you're nice, you know? It's that easy. Just because you're nice, don't think girls should like you. You're supposed to be nice. Um, if you think women are the weaker sex, try pulling the blankets back to your side. <laughs> oh, yo. I dated a girl in college whose mom tried to talk her out of being gay by telling her she'd have to go through life without someone to open jars for her. At the time, it was upsetting, but in hindsight, I kind of loved that jar opening was the only use for men she could think of. <laughs> That's hilarious. Her mom was like, you really, you really want to go on life without someone opening jars for you. <laughs> that's funny as. I think the mom just proved the daughter's point, you know, like that's such a men are just useful for opening jars. That's hilarious. Due to us saying, it's scary to hook up with women now. It's like, I don't know what's okay and what isn't. Uh, why don't you just ask her? She's literally right there. Why is that scary? What the heck? Look at him trying to make it all about him, you know? It's so scary for us men nowadays because you don't know what's okay anymore. Are you kidding me? Ew. I wish girls who want boob jobs and girls who want boob reductions could just like Venmo each other some titty. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I wish I could just take the fat from my stomach and just move it up a bit, you know? <sighs> Why? Why cannot I do that? Places where it's scary to be a woman, outside, inside, on the internet, in real life, driving, walking, on the bus, at work, at school. Yes, it just never ends. Oh my goodness. That's honestly really sad, to be honest, if you think about it. There's just every scenario where it could be dangerous for a woman. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. I'm walking down the street and this dude behind me shouted, hey girl, I turned around and he was like, oh my gosh, I'm not catcalling you. I am literally catcalling my cat. And then his cat came running up to him from his front porch. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just love how he was just aware of it, you know? He was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. The professor asked what ghosted meant and this girl said what Brian over there did to me three weeks ago. <laughs> well, Brian. How dare you, Brian? Just tell her that you're not interested. How hard is that? If you bump into your ex with his new girl, act fake excited to meet her and sincerely say, oh my gosh, I really like your pajamas, no matter what she's wearing. <laughs> that's toxic. That is so toxic. In a movie scenario, that's funny. But if you're out, I wouldn't do that because what has the girl done to you? You know, she's just dating some new dude. Why you gotta do her like that, honestly? Unless he cheated with her and she knew that he was cheating and still wanted to be with him, then yeah, go ahead, do this. Go ahead, say I like your pajamas. Boiling in a pot, boy lobster. Ah, girl lobster, I'm cold. Oh my gosh, that, that's kinda, that's kinda dark humor, huh? Yo, but honestly though, in the shower, I have to have it really hot, like it's burning my skin kind of hot, which is why my skin is probably so bad. The girls that tweet men are trash are the ones who talk to 57 guys. Larger sample size equals more accurate results. <laughs> wow, yes, experiment. I correct results. Boys, I want you to be skinny but have a big butt and tits, thighs not too big, nice fat stomach and Girls, I like tall boys. Boys. <laughs> People like this, you both just shallow. I mean, of course, that's your personal preference, but your personal preference can be shallow too. There is a group of women getting off my flight and one has a shirt that says just divorced and the others have shirts that say divorce support group and they are all blasted. <laughs> Those are the type of friends everyone needs in their life. Wow. Wow. I love it. You know, yes. That's true. These are the type of friends you need in your life, you know, who support you no matter what. Okay, divorce support group. That's nice. How to approach women who wear headphones. One, get in the bin. Two, set the bin on fire. Three, roll the bin away from the woman. Four, towards the sea. <laughs> 
basically you just don't approach a woman when she's wearing headphones because 99.99% she probably does not want to talk to you unless you have something important to tell her like she's on fire or something <laughs> god let there be women women cool god but no pockets women what god put your stuff in a bag men lol god <laughs> That's not funny. Why is it funny? I don't, I, don't, I don't want to put my stuff in my bag. Imagine just carrying a lip balm and you have no pockets to put it in, but you have to carry a big bag just to put in your lip balm. How annoying. Today, I saw a beautiful woman and said, wow, she's so pretty. And the coworker immediately was like, don't feel like that, Natalie. You're pretty too. And I stared at him and said, I'm not jealous. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm not jealous. I'm just interested in her. What are you talking about? The heck is wrong with you? Why do you think I'm self-conscious just because I call another person pretty? Hmm? I get he was trying to be nice, but it's just so sad how people start to think that way now. You know, you call someone pretty and they're like, wow, she's insecure. No, she's just pretty. Like, generally, I just find her really, really pretty. I don't want to be like her. But she's pretty. A woman had me double bag her tampons because the bag was see-through and her husband would be embarrassed. Sweetie, throw the whole husband out. I agree. <laughs> Why would anyone be embarrassed just because their partner is buying tampons? Does that mean he would never ever buy tampons for her? <gasps> mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't get it. What's so embarrassing about tampons? It's just tampons. Or pads. What's so embarrassing about that? It's just like buying tissue or something. What in the world? Why is that embarrassing? Interesting. Every woman I know has been storing anger for years in her body and it's starting to feel like bees are going to pull out of all our mouths at the same time. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't have that much anger in me. I think my dog takes it all away. Okay, I guess my dog has the oil in her then. <laughs> I'm kidding. Me, I look great today. Fluorescent lights, I can fix that. Yo, that's true, eh? Why do those lights make us look weird? It's like, uh, I guess it's because it's so bright. It makes you look a lot paler. It just makes you look tired for some reason. It's weird. You can walk in one room feeling like great and feeling amazing and then you walk in another with these lights and you just look at yourself and you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, I guess I don't look that good. And you go back in that room and then you feel great again. Weird. When a man tells me he's looking for a real woman, I scurry away because I'm actually three hours in a raincoat and he mustn't find out. <laughs> yo, yo, yeah, I'm actually a cat. I'm looking for a real woman. What even is that, you know? What is a real woman? I feel like we just say, I'm looking for a man. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.